<laughs> and I can't say enough. We gave him a bunch of yards, but we've always been the bend on break mentality, you know what I mean? Keep it in front of you, make them make plays all the way through the end zone. And we've had a bunch of critical stops in the red zone the last two weeks. Two against Lee County and um, I want to say three tonight, two or three tonight. So whatever it is, is our kids are a bow in the neck when it gets when it gets hard and getting four down stops and and they're just playing all the way through the whistle and just just, just trying to trying to find a way to get the ball back to the offense the best way they can. I, I'm I'm proud of those guys. Proud of the way the offense grind out some long drives because we need them. We played a lot of plays on defense tonight, but uh, the way the offense held onto the ball, you know, time position, I'm pretty sure is in our favor the way it looked. You know what I mean? You never know because they had some long drives too. But it looked looked good from my point of view. Well, efficiency on offense was a big thing. Uh, they ran more plays, but y'all had double the yardage, it, certainly in the first quarter and through most of the half. Oh, it was key. We started fast on offense. We definitely did. I mean, we're never. I mean, we, we like to get chunk plays like that. But you know, if we could just stay on schedule, we feel we feel like we have a chance. Uh, you know, to keep sticks, sticks moving, keep the ball out there, their, their offense's hand, things like that. Um, you know, it, it, it was critical. I think both sides of the ball played a, played a solid game, not a complete game, but a solid game, and they gave us a chance to do what we just did. You know what I mean? Looks like you got Hughes next week. I guess it doesn't matter to y'all who. But. Nah, it doesn't matter. I'm not even worried about it till tomorrow. I'm just happy we got a chance to play. Happy we got a chance to go up against somebody, you know, that's going to be a good opponent and, and, and on a good stage, on, on, you know, on TV and stuff like that. Our kids love that type of stuff. So hopefully that'll make them focus this week and make them play better. Congratulations. Thanks, Scott. sir. I appreciate Ashton it. Ashton played a great game. I mean, I, he was near flawless. Um, and I know that's what you need from the senior quarterback and, and being able to lead the offense. Uh, you know, and he, he's come up big in the state finals. How big is he going to be next week? Yeah, he's going to be huge, man. I mean, He's played great all year long in a couple situations, but he's done a good job. And I mean, I'm proud of him being, being a leader, getting a chance to do, I mean, lead it from the beginning to the end uh, all year long so far. Just, you know, we need a great week of practice, man. I don't think, I don't think we, we, we sharpened our sword the best way we could all, year, all week long. And if we do that again, we're going to be sad in, in seven days. So that's, that's what I'm focusing on right now. And Coach, your seniors, this is your third third consecutive state championship. What does that experience mean going in the dome like Oh, it that? does. It, mean, it means something. That, um, those guys have played in tough games on tough stages a bunch of times. So that, that type of experience in, in tight games kind of help you out a little bit. You know, a lot of these seniors now played both years. You know what I mean? They played in, in, against Warner Robins and against uh, Lee County last year. Um, so just, just hoping for a good week. Y'all moving up to 7 a next year. So uh, would this be a great way to, you know, to close it out, to be able to get out of 6A and take both state titles? It would be. Yeah, I ain't worried about that right now. I don't worry about 7 a next year, man. I'm just worried about, you know, watching film tomorrow and, and, and having a chance to play a good game on Friday. Ashton, going back for the third straight year, how's that feel? It feels amazing. I mean, we put in all the work this summer, this all season, and um, I think we've really earned it this year. Well, Buford has not won three straight titles since 2001, two, and three. It really, it's kind of incredible to think of this fifth. Right. So you and your group have a chance to do something haven't done in right. almost 20 years. Right. I mean, have y'all talked about that at all? No, sir. We really, um, we really just focus on taking uh, the games one by one, taking the days one by one. Um, of course, that's always the end goal, but we, we like to focus on being in the moment and um, and just being where your feet are. But that you have to miss. That'd be pretty cool. If yes, sir. It would. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, when you think of all the great players, right? Come through, it's hard to win three straight. Right. Yes, sir. What, what's been the secret to this thing? Um, I think uh, we just put a lot of uh, preparation and hard work. Um, into whether it's the off season, spring brawl, during the season. Um, I think we got a lot of guys that are going together very well um, on both sides of the ball and special teams. So I think that, that's really what's uh, holding us together right now. Well, you know, everybody wants to win one in the senior right. year and close out your high school career. Yes, sir. Um, I, I, you know, how, how would that feel? Oh, it would feel amazing. Um, even getting this final win right here in Tom Ryden, um, my last game in Tom Ryden is huge. but. Um, doing a three-peat, that would be insane. Um, it would be awesome. I'd love to finish this ride off great with my boys. Um, you know, what, what is, how, how would anybody attack you guys? I mean, real. I don't know. It's real hard. <laughs> I think we, a lot of, we put a lot of preparation into meetings, um, practices, our schemes, and all that stuff. So I think that's really what makes us hard to beat.